small turkey, dessert, razor blades, one regular Coke. I will conquer this, this list. I love you. I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Bye. It's a Thanksgiving Day special. I need glasses. I forgot my glasses. I got my glasses. So it's Thanksgiving in like three days, four days, I don't know, four days. And you gotta start your prep earlier just because turkeys are usually frozen and you gotta thaw them. So that's why I'm going turkey shopping today. Going there in person early in the morning, I'll beat the rush and I'll really get to take my time in picking out the right turkey. It's quite an undertaking, Bart, quite an undertaking. There's gotta be a tur oh, turkey and cheese dinner. They would probably like that. Gravy. Oh yeah, I also got a Christmas tree. Enter your pumpkins. Place your pumpkins in the back. I bought a tree. It's a necessity. I was just supposed to get these four things. Please remember to take your. I got way more than that. Yeah, I swear that always happens to me. I go to the grocery store to pick up four things, just four, four, and I end up leaving there with a tree, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't think Courtney's gonna think it was a successful grocery store trip. She's probably gonna be mad. I mean, she might be amped. Keyword there is might. Maybe I should pick her up some Wendy's before I come home, put her in a good mood. She likes spicy chicken sandwiches. I already started to get the, honey, where are you text messages? That means that she knows. Hopefully, it's not that bad. We'll see how this goes. Barney, I'm home. I think you're gonna be impressed. I want a little bit more than the list. You went for four things. I know, I got a little bit more than that. I just wanted to give you the Thanksgiving that you deserve. Oh, got bagels, orange juice, chocolate milk. Got you a brand new turkey pan. I also got you one more surprise. You're gonna like this one a lot. Ta-da! It's a Christmas tree. It's a plant. That's cool. It has dirt and everything. And I got you cookies. And I got you baby red tomatoes. And I got you that. Where does it have to go? Any idea how this is gonna fit? You probably have to reorganize stuff or move shelves. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Tuesday, today was Monday. Right. Hi, Mr. Turkey. How are you doing today? That's great. So this is our turkey right here. Oh. Ta-da! Dry brining is when you take salt and I guess you just coat it in a lot of salt and it dries out the skin. Anyway, what happens is, is that it just pretty much makes the skin really nice and crispy when it's cooked. Where is that recipe? Oh yeah, if you wanna know exactly the steps that I'm following, I'll give you the link and put it down below. I'm not gonna go through all the steps because making cooking videos isn't really my thing thing but since it's a thanksgiving day special a turkey it kind of goes along with the package hey court where's the granulated sugar grand hang on let me see if i'm saying this right yeah granulated sugar you said we had it well hello bart hi miss carlene what's up with you you know trying to make a turkey 
Why is that funny? Yeah, I was going to try to dry brine it. Have you ever done that? No. Well, you rub salt on it and like granulated sugar and it dries out the skin to make it nice and crispy. Uh, no, no, no. It's going to be too salt. But that's a method of cooking, they say. It was on the Delish website. So it's got to be legit. How can I help? It says that I need to use granulated sugar. Uh-huh. Can I use like brown sugar? Yeah, but you know why they tell you to use the granulated sugar? Why? The reason why I got brown sugar burns fast. Ah, that's good to you know. You got me? Brown sugar would burn fast and would burn it to a crisp. That's good to know. Okay. You got cool. me? I got you. I miss you. Okay. Miss you guys too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. That's my girl Carlene down from the Virgin Islands. Best Virgin Island cook I've ever met. I'm gonna be using this raw cane, what is that word? Turbinata? And after talking to my buddy, he said to use butter because it will stick better. I really don't want to touch you. You look gooey. Now it says to remove the giblets first. I guess that's that right there. Why did I agree to do this? Is that thing not coming out? Come on. Ah. What is that thing? It's gnarly looking. I still don't know what this plastic thing is doing here. Sure that wasn't supposed to stay in. Do you live in central Pennsylvania and want to enter for a chance to win these giblets right here from our turkey? Check us out on Facebook, Thanksgiving Day, and you could win these. If you live within a 10 mile radius of Red Lion, Pennsylvania, I'll even deliver them. The only thing you're not going to get is the Pyrex bowl because Courtney, she would kill me if I gave away our Pyrex. I'll also include whatever this is, because I don't know what it is. All right, so now that we got that part sorted out, it's time to figure out how much this bird weighs. Where's the scale? I thought there was a scale. How come I can never find it? Scale. Where are you, scale? Scale. Yeah, I can't find the scale. Well, it looks like I have to do it a different way. With turkey, that's without the turkey. Okay, so we're dealing with like a 15 pound turkey here. Why did I agree to do this? They say to dry it with a paper towel. I think I know why that handle is there now. This is dry as I think. So is this that or is this that? Oh no, I found another head. Yeah, okay, that's the neck. We're not gonna touch that. We're just gonna not even worry about that. So I got my rub here. It's the salt and the, the sugar. It has the salt and the sugar in here. Sure hope this is right. Rub a bird. Yeah, I think that will do it. Let's just keep it like that. Mm -hmm. 